Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode at Did Somebody Say Retro. Apologies for the delay, it has been quite a while since the last video but I'm just trying to put them up as much as I can. Uh, life just got in the way and I've just had to take a bit of a break from YouTube but I'm here, I've got a new episode for you and today's episode I'm just going to show you some of the bits that I've had delivered and some of the bits that I've picked up over the last few weeks. So everything that I'm going to show you today is either on the set in front of me or I've got some stuff on the wall or on the shelf. And yeah, so most of the bits are from Vintage Gamer in Halzone, which is the best retro gaming shop in the world. Put a link in the description for you so you can go and check them out. If you want anything retro gaming related, they deliver as well. So just drop them a message, let them know that I sent you and I promise you they'll look after you as they always look after me. And everything else is either from my missus, from friends or bits that I've got from like Facebook Marketplace. And is there anything from eBay? There's something from eBay, there's something from one other shop from Liverpool that I found the other day and another store. So yeah, without further ado, let's have a look at what I've got. So the first one I've got is Tetris and Dr. Mario. Um, if you don't know of this game already, it's basically like um, an updated version of Dr. Mario, as far as I can tell. I'm not sure about the Tetris, but I'm a big fan of Dr. Mario and me and my best mate Penga played this a lot. So really excited to play that. Worms Armageddon, straight classic. I've had unlucky spells trying to buy this game for some reason. The last two times I bought it on eBay, um, it either came with the wrong game or it was just completely unplayable. Another one is Def Jam Fight for New York. That is a game I've wanted for a long time, a little bit, you know, a little bit more pricey than normal PS2 games, um, but it's just an amazing game and I'm a massive hip hop fan, so really looking forward to, to playing that. And NBA Jam. I went to NQ64 in Birmingham with my mate Dre recently and we played NBA Jam and I played that for the first time and it was amazing. So I promised him that I'd get this game and so the next time he comes to the game room we can have a go on that. The next few bits I've got is a Game Boy Advance SP that's a little bit on the broken side so I'm going to have a little go at fixing that. Another one is Sonic Pinball. Can you see that? For... Sonic Pinball, Sonic Pinball Party for the Game Boy Advance. I saw that a while ago and I love pinball games, so I'm going to put that in the Game Boy player and give that a go. And I don't want to show you the best things yet, but I also got a new Scott, a multi Scott. So the one that I've got is rubbish. I set it up and you might have seen my little updated version of my wires and everything behind the CRT, but yeah, I needed a new one, so that's going to help me out a lot. The last few things I've got from Vintage Gamer are the Scorpion light gun, so I unfortunately found out that the G-Con light gun for the PS1 isn't compatible with Diode Trilogy, so you have to get this gun. This is the one that works. So I've finally got that so I can play um, Diode Trilogy. So while I was editing, I realized I accidentally forgot to show you this, which is called a P99L laser blaster, and it's a PS1 light gun, and it's got a kickback action on it as well. So when you shoot, it kicks back. I think that's right anyway, because that's the reason why I've been after it for quite a while. Even got a caution sign underneath there, so that laser is probably a little bit dangerous, but it's still cool, and it's got the foot pedal to it as well. So yeah, got that from Vintage Gamer. Cannot wait to try that out. So if you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure I'll be putting up lots of content using that very soon. Uh, I'll make a little short video as well so you can see it. So yeah, back to the video. And this is... I've never ever seen one of these before. It's a it's a cartridge that you can put into an SP. In fact, I'll show you what that looks like. So you just put it in, yep, like that. And then you can put other games in the side. So you can do that look, put one in there, one in there, and I've got another one. There we go. And one in there as well. And you can switch, just switch between them. Can you see that? Just flick between the games. How cool is that, man? So yeah, looking forward to playing that. And my two favourite things that I've got today is the first one is this, which is a Mario card pack. And I believe these are from what Nick said at Vintage Gamer. He said that these are from vending machines in Japan and it's even still got the Yen sticker on. And I love I love things like that where they've still got the sticker on. So, yeah, that's never going to be opened. That's going to be put proudly on display. Also, the best one is, although it's faulty, it's now going to be a little project of mine. I'm going to try and get it to work. 
it is, let me just undo it, Super Mario World Watch. Is it focusing? There you go. Yeah, that's it. So I'm going to try and get that to work. Nice little project of mine when I've got some spare time. Wanted one of these for ages and yeah, I just had to walk away with it. I couldn't leave it there. So I can't wait to try and fix that. So some things that my amazing missus has bought me as well is she got me these, which are wicked. So yeah, I'm going to put them on display as well. And the other thing that you can see on the shelf there and the reason why I completely changed my display. In fact, that shouldn't be there. That should be there. So yeah, the reason why I changed the whole display is to make room for this. And my missus bought me this and without getting into it too much, just had a really rough couple of months. So yeah, she bought me that to cheer me up and it really, really helped me. So yeah, amazing. So thank you so much. And yeah, I don't know if you should be able to see. <laughs> How sick is that? If you haven't seen that already. Also, when you put the cartridge in, just like the actual NES, it presses down just like that. So see, I can't even, I already can't wait to do it again. Yeah, gonna leave that there. And you can also see on the wall there, that's the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 skateboard deck. So that came, that was like a limited edition that you get with the new game and I got that for the Xbox One. So I'll put that on the wall when I redid the room. If you haven't seen me, if you haven't seen all the pictures and everything from me redoing the whole room, then just check it out on my Instagram page. Um, it was probably, by the time we upload this, it's probably uploaded maybe a week or two ago. So yeah, just check that out. Also, I got these brand new Rubik's Cubes. So you can probably see my other ones there and there, but they're not the best quality. These are amazing. These have mag these are magnetic. So when you turn it, it just clicks into place really, really smoothly. So thanks Joe Bleeps on Instagram for recommending me those. So they're gonna really help me out. I've got down, I'm only using the beginner method, but I got down to a minute and 13 on the train the other day with that. So yeah. Thanks, man. Also, when me and the missus were in Liverpool yesterday, we popped into a shop that she spotted before I did, and I forget the name, and so what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description for you, just to give you a link to, like, I'll find their Facebook page or something. It's like a comic book store in Liverpool. Uh, it's just by the train station. So, yeah, I found these in there. There was two of these, so I bought one. I just took the sticker off, so mind that. But, yeah, a little Game Boy Colour watch, and that is just so sick. I haven't seen one of them before. I saw the DMG one but not saw that one, so I had to had to pick that up. And from a gaming Facebook group, I bought this, and you might know already that I like my VHS tapes, so I had to get that to put in the collection. And the last two things, which are both from eBay, is the first one is this, which is a, from the year 2000, it ended on the 31st of August 2000, it's from a shop, if you're from the UK, you might remember a shop called Safeway, it's a little leaflet to win a Pokemon game and Game Boy Colour, so I love little things like that. So I'll get that framed as well. So a 20 year old advert there. So I love that kind of stuff. So yeah, there's that one. And the last thing from eBay is this, which is an FM tuner for the Game Boy Advance. And I haven't tried it in the SP yet, but when I play it in here, it's got no volume control. So it's just really, really loud, but it works pretty well. Um, and it looks pretty cool in this clear Game Boy. This clear Game Boy, by the way, is one from my it's the one that I made for the tutorial for my Build Your Own Game Boy kit. So if you haven't seen that already, the link is in the description. You can build this Game Boy, this exact same one, from scratch with all the bits and pieces, even the tools that you need. And the video tutorial is completely free on my YouTube channel. So yeah, check that out. But yeah, this little Wild Things, the brand's called, FM Tune, if you haven't seen that before. I just love little accessories like that. So yeah, I had to pick that up. And there's just one more thing, but it's pretty big, so just bear with me. And this is it. How sick is that? Really, really old fashioned TV where you're pressing the buttons for the channels. It's got an aux input, input in the back. So I'm going to be connecting a game to this and seeing how it looks. I don't even know if it's just black and white or colour yet. But yeah, this is from a long time friend of mine called Ashmore. So thanks, mate. Really, really appreciate it. And yeah, as soon as I can, I'm going to get some really cool content with this. So yeah, man. Thank you. And I think that is pretty much it. That seems to be everything that I've picked up and had delivered over the last week or so. If you want to check out the pictures from when I completely stripped this and put the Lego nest set up there and 
you know, read on all of my displays, even the ones that you can't see over there. If you want to see all those pictures, then check it out on my Instagram page. And thanks again to everybody that's sent stuff to me and, you know, to Nick and the guys at Vintage Gamer for helping me out, to the missus, uh, e you know, from the sellers on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, you made me a very happy man. So these are all going to go proudly on display. And if you want to check out my Instagram page as well, then I'll put up loads of, loads of pictures in the coming weeks of all my new bits and pieces. And that's it for today. So thanks for checking out this video. If you'd like to see more of these, then let me know in the comments. Uh, please don't forget to like or subscribe. And if you really want to help me out, just click that bell icon to receive all notifications for future uploads. So yeah, thanks guys and stay safe and I'll see you soon for another video.